Hello, I'm going to set up a ceramic coating campaign for a client in Texas and I wanted to record the process because I was watching a bunch of videos of other people setting it up and I don't think it made any sense and I think this is a much more uh, realistic way of doing it. So the idea behind this campaign is to get people who have a high intent of getting the service. So what type of keywords do people look up in order to become a customer? Most of the time, these are pretty straightforward in my opinion. If you have any experience, you should know how people get to your site if they're looking for you online. So, pretty simple. Ceramic coating, ceramic coating me, ceramic coating services, ceramic coating companies. How can I hire a ceramic coating? Who does ceramic coating? Any type of keyword like that is going to prompt that type of, um, it's going to trigger that ad and that ad is being triggered by a person who wants that service. Because the benefit of Google Ads is, there's not someone out there who's just going online and saying, dentist near me. If they're not looking for a dentist close to them for the purpose of going, then most likely they're not going to make that search. So because Google Ads is intent-based, that's why it's so advantageous to use it. People are in the need of wanting that service kind of immediately. And so we're going to start the campaign. We're going to create one without a guidance. We're going to do a search. Search after the last 22 years is still the main driver. Here are the conversion goals. You have to be careful with these because these are just conversions are counted on what you tell it. So if you have conversions set up appropriately, then it will work appropriately. If you have conversions set up for if they visit my page or if they spend 30 seconds on my page or if they make it to this part of the website and it counts that as a conversion, then it's going to be data that's watered down. So. If you're a local service-based business and you're spending 500, 1,000 bucks, 1,500 bucks even, I don't think this is necessary. To set this up, it's not easy. You have to use Google Tag Manager. You have, you have to use how to, uh, you have to know how to either add it to a WordPress site, a Wix site, actually a Wix or Squarespace site, and some other ones, they make it really easy. They connect off, off of one click. But other ones, you have to go in there and add the code, add the Google Tag Manager, and it gets a little bit confusing. So. I would rather not set this up and run the ads than figure out how to set this up and then run the ads because you're going to spend a lot of time trying to figure this part out when that's not the goal. What is the goal? To get the phone to ring with people who want to buy your service. So keep that in mind. Um, so this is going to be a search campaign. Those are the goals. I'm going to leave this alone. You can put website visits. You can put phone calls. But actually, I'm going to add it. This this kind of um, This kind of tells Google like what to automate, but you, we want to play both sides, right? Like we want to, we don't want them to fully automate everything, but we do want them to, how you say, um, you know, help us out. That's the whole point. We're just setting it up. It's like a, it's like a, not a trap per se, but it's so when someone looks, looks us up, um, we appear. So, you know, name it be organized so now we're here it says conversions so here's what's crazy how can you set up a campaign for conversions when you haven't set up the, the conversions these they're not set up yet Google saying hey I can I can get those phone calls and website visits based off what you deem right so target CPA target cost per acquisition how much am I or this customer willing to pay for a lead I could say ten dollars and it's gonna try and find me ten dollar leads that would be great that'll be perfect that this company will make a bunch of money that's not realistic. I could also say on the flip side, hey, for $500, let's say it's a ceramic coating and you make, I don't know, 600 bucks, 1,000 bucks. Like it might still be worth it. But that's all theory. Like how do we know? We don't. So we're gonna move that, we're gonna go to clicks and we're just gonna go off of volume. Like let's just send as much traffic as we can. Let's see what kind of calls we get. Let's see what kind of form submissions we get. And then let's go from there. Yes, the holy grail is to set it up on maximized conversion and have all the tracking set up but it's not a perfect world, so we're gonna move on. Next. Search network. We only want the search network. So what is Google search network? That is this. That is, this is Google search network. What is search partners? That is this. You go to something like Ask Jeeves, they have a tool, right? You go in here, they, this is using the Google search engine. Why would someone go to Ask Jeeves and look this up? I don't know. So we're not gonna include the one. And then the last one is the display network. There's nothing wrong with the display network, but you shouldn't mix in the data. So these ads right here, these are display ads. We're not gonna use them, so we're gonna we're not gonna include them. Off, off. Now we're gonna do 
the location. So where do we want it to show? People in or regularly in? We don't want people who are interested in because they can be in another state, another city. It doesn't apply to us. So we're gonna enter a location. So we're gonna take the address here. I'm gonna do the zip code, 78108. Advanced search, radius, 78108. And we're gonna target it. 20 miles, that's a little bit unrealistic. This is a shop, it's not mobile detailing. If you are mobile detailing and you wanna drive miles up there to service people, perfect, do that. But if you want to make it more realistic and people who are near you, um, you might wanna make this smaller. So I would recommend starting more broad. So like actually go bigger and then make it smaller as you figure out where you're getting calls from. But I wouldn't start like 50 mile radius because it's not reasonable for somebody to drive that far in order to do it. Now, if your company is good and you have a lot of reviews and you, there's demand for your service and you just need people to find, find out about you, then you can do it, you can get away with it. But if, if you don't wanna make it harder for that potential customer to book you if it's like, oh, well, you're like on the other side of my town, I'm not gonna go all the way over there. Okay, so we're gonna start with 12 and then take it from there. Languages, if you speak another language, add it. If you don't, just leave it in English. All this other stuff doesn't matter. And then he... I don't know what that was. I deleted the campaign. I was like, I'm gonna record a video for this. And so it's gonna show us a bunch of ads here. Um, you know, I think people take the... I think people take these key, this keyword part very seriously when I don't actually think it's that hard, all right? So like, ceramic coating. When it's phrase match, it means just the string has to be there. So ceramic coating near me. San Antonio ceramic coating will trigger that. Ceramic coating near me will be triggered by that. Um, where can I get ceramic coating done? That'll be triggered by that. And so any other variation of this is just a duplicate in a sense. So even if I just put ceramic coating in phrase match, it's gonna pull that keyword. Now what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna put it in broad match would be how it's laid out right there without anything around the word. Because then if it's similar to it, it's gonna trigger the ad. So it might be car wash, it might be interior detailing, it might be auto detailing. But we specifically wanna be focused on ceramic coating, so we're gonna leave that. You could add, for example, what's called exact match. So only if this exact keyword came out, uh, was put in, would your ad be triggered. But because again, if, you're, if you don't have a big budget, if you are kind of still figuring out what keywords are best, it's too strict. So the best place to be is ceramic coating. And so let's just, I'm literally gonna brainstorm, right? Like actually we can do, and this tool is actually not bad. Like you can, you can use, I use SEM Rush, which is gonna give you like everything you kind of need. And it's gonna give you the search volume. It's gonna give you the, the difficulty. It's gonna give you the estimated cost per click, but you can use this tool. I already have the list, right? So like, what do they put, right? And then, and then spend the time, you know what I mean? Like. This is automotive ceramic coating. It would still be triggered by ceramic coating. Best ceramic coating to me, it would still be triggered. Best coating for a car, slightly different. Car protective coating, kind of the same. Mobile ceramic coating, this is not for mobile. If it was, you can add it. Ceramic auto, ceramic coating services. So this is good. Best ceramic coating for car. This is like maybe somebody wanting to get it for themselves. Ceramic coating shop near me, that's very good. Ceramic coating companies, perfect. Oh, before I do this, I can't forget the keyword here. These again, these are all basically the same keyword. Glossy, best ceramic detailer. So this is looking for like a person, which is fair. Ceramic coating ceiling, ceramic coating for trucks. The last one is so best. And then everything is, like I said, everything's almost the same. So we're just gonna add these. And basically once the campaign launches and we spend a little bit of money, let's say a hundred bucks, you're gonna be able to see the search terms and the impressions on the on the Google ad side once it goes live. And based off of that, you can add even more keywords because it's gonna give you all of the search terms, meaning what did a person actually look up that was triggered by ceramic coating, that was triggered by auto detailing ceramic coating. And so once we get there, we'll add them. But everything starts like this. Everything is, is, is a launching point and again, you want to get this up and running so you can start adjusting. It's kind of like going to the gym. You don't think about the gym, you don't plan the gym. I mean, you do, right? You can make your, your workout plan, when you're gonna go, what you're gonna eat, you can do all that. But what you, it's better just to get in motion. It's better just to go to the gym, you're there, okay, what do I do? 
oh, okay, I did bench press, I like that. Maybe I was doing it wrong, let me see what I can do to fix my form. Same concept. So here we go to the asterisk, I wouldn't overthink it, but I would make it match, right? So ceramic coating. Uh, let's do the company name. Uh, man, am I spelling this right? Aesthetics. Aesthetics. Okay, cool. Um, ceramic coating San Antonio. And basically, you just want to make it match. If somebody clicks the link, I'm sorry. If somebody looks up a keyword, you want the you want the ad to look like the. the you want the ad headlines to match that, and then you want the home page to match that, or the landing page, whatever it is. Okay, it looks super simple. I would recommend adding all 15 headlines and all four descriptions, but for the sake of time, we're gonna leave that, and we can always update it later. And it takes like three, five days to even for it to really start running, so it's better to submit it than to take all the time waiting. So you can add images, I would recommend that. I would, site links, depends, right? So like if the campaign is, let's say a general auto detailing um, or a general service type of campaign, then you can add the different site links that go to the specific services. But because this is just specific to ceramic coating, we're gonna just put the ones that are pertinent to that. And we can put the about too. So we'll just leave it like that. Um, always add the call, I mean, this is like the most of course, it's disapproved. Don't know why. So we're gonna go down here. Add it again. If it's approved again, we have to appeal it. Sometimes that happens because somewhere on the website or the Google profile, the phone number is different. Maybe it's a tracking number. Maybe it went from a cell phone to a business line and it just needs to be, it just needs to be um, it should be the same phone number everywhere. And so, looks a little, cool. All right. So that's good with the structure snippets. These are good to add. Again, we'll do that round two. Budget, so budget is whatever you can comfortably do for a while. When I say a while, like at least three months. If, you know, it's better to spend 500 a month for three months than it is to spend 1500 for one month and then stop. Because it takes time to figure out what it is that you want to, uh, what it is to make it work. And so, here it's saying $23 recommended, $16 and 34 cents is cost per click. So that's pretty high. Um, and depending on where you are and how in demand it is, is how you can dictate how difficult or easy it would be. I have some customers that are in towns that really don't have a lot of competition. They flourish, right? Or they've been in business for so, so long that it's just adding fuel to fire to the fuel or fuel, fuel to the fire and vice versa. There are companies that are starting off in a very metropolitan area with a bunch of other competi uh, competitors or competition, it is tough. So depending on where you are and essentially how good you are at closing leads and getting leads is how you can dictate how it will go. It's completely contextual to your situation, your area, your budget, your website, et cetera, et cetera. So set a custom budget for this person, we are gonna do 800 a month, so I'm just gonna take 800 divided by 30. So that's $26, so we're just gonna update this. So it says average cost per ticket, $18.20, weekly clicks 10, 182 weekly cost. That doesn't sound great, we're gonna put it in and we're gonna see uh, how it goes and make adjustments as we see them. So hopefully this actually is accepted because there was a duplicate campaign. But that, I mean, that's it. Once, if it, whether it does or doesn't publish, that's just on my end. Hopefully, this helps. If you guys have any questions, just let me know later.